Hello, this is Dr. Peter Swans with Vital Force Naturopathy. I'm here today to talk to you about something that kind of pertains to a few of the posts and some uh, blogs I've written um, in the past few months. Um, and it's, it's about the sh shifting our relationship, our relationships not just with foods, but with health in general, with ourselves, with exercise. Um, and, you know, it, it's very important that we get to that underlying cause, the why, that we change the context about the food or the way we relate to it, the way we relate to our body, our health. And I've, I've stressed that a lot. I love the philosophy. The why is so very important when we're on our road to health. I just don't want to downplay the significance of taking action, of doing that first step. There's this saying, it's called fake it till you make it. You know, the idea that, um, you may not really all be there in your heart. You may not really fully get or be invested in why you're doing something. But if you start putting forth actions, positive actions that are congruent with the thoughts, with the emotions that you want to feel in relation to that, those emotions, those feelings will come around. Our body, I think we can travel both directions. I think we can start with, with the feelings and the relationships and then the actions come. Or we have the actions and then the feelings come. I believe it's easier to start with the actions. Um, it's easier to get up, you know, set the alarm, say, I'm going to start going to the gym every day and soon thereafter start to really feel and experience the benefit from that, to feel emotionally lifted, elevated, to want to continue that process. That's easier than to sit around for two weeks and say, you know what, I'm just going to think about going to the gym and try to feel positive about it and then start going. I just think it's easier to take that first step. I think this is also really a very important thing to um, recognize with children because children, their, their brains haven't developed. Children, you know, our brains don't fully develop till around 20, you know, somewhere in the mid-20s, 25, 26 years old. We're always still, you know, forming neuro, new neural pathways um, with our experience with life. But to think that we can connect with children in a way where they fully understand the benefit of exercise or of eating vegetables, you know, eating balanced meals, of, um, you know, developing healthy relationships with desserts. The, the emotional context isn't there, right? And so I think that's a big part of the reason why um, children, you know, Eating disorders, for example, are so prevalent. Um, there's a quick dopamine fix when you when you get a sweet, when you reward kids with you know sweets, candies. It, it pumps out dopamine. That's that's a neurological behavior. That's setting up a pathway. That's a learned behavior. They want more of that um, to try to get them to recognize. Well, that was just one possible reward. We could have rewarded you with other things um, that would have given you the same dopamine. You know, it, release. It's it's confusing for children. The way we can simplify it for parents is to have the habits, the structures ourselves and to model those for the children, to include them in those habits. And, and as we're doing these things on a regular basis, discussing you know, the, the relationship with the foods. So for example, you know, one thing that I stress is doing with my patients, doing desserts twice a week, maybe Saturday evening after dinner and Wednesdays. It's not an everyday occurrence. Um, but it's also something where you're not stressing, oh, it's dessert night, oh, it's sweet night, it's a night to eat sugar. It's more about, hey, on these two nights, let's take a little extra time together as a family after the meal to sit and enjoy something that we prepared together. Um, and it's something special, and it's a treat, and it's not really about the food, it's the time together that's a treat. That's how we get kids to have good, healthy relationships with foods, um, by putting out the behaviors, putting out the patterns, and modeling those and holding them to holding the children to that holding them accountable and holding ourselves accountable and over time the emotional context will fill in it'll come there it's a hard lesson to learn and that's why we it, but it's even harder if we're trying to you know shift these the emotional context so start with the behavior stuff um, it's really an important message and I, I hope I hope it makes sense and um, don't hesitate to uh, find me on Twitter, ask me questions at Zen Doctor or on Facebook at D-R-S-W-A-N-Z. I'm happy to answer any questions um, that you might have about this. So, This is Dr. Peter Swans. Have a great, healthy, peaceful week.